So I started this design as a gesture drawing. You can kind of see I laid it underneath. And then first you do a pencil on top of it. Quickly kind of sketch out uh, the main pieces of the design. Not too tight. And then you flip that down. And then you put an ink pen on top. And you try to draw the lines. Um, mostly draw on the outside edge of the lines like a contour. Not necessarily filling them all in because I plan on scanning this the whole time. Um, and this is a good way for me to work. A lot of artists will work also uh, drawing this right into Photoshop. But for me it kind of works, uh, I like the feel of the pen on the paper, so maybe it's a little old school. And then I scan it in, and then you can see the lines aren't all filled in here, and then you can kind of quickly trap them. Um, and Photoshop me squeeze them a little bit, add some black. And now here I'm laying out the type, kind of doing it quick in Corel Draw. Um, you could do this in Illustrator too. Um, arc the type, kind of go underneath. Here's you kind of making scrolls out of some scroll pieces, fitting the um, lettering into the scroll. The bottom scroll I wanted to be more complicated because it uh, had to fit um, all the different words in there. So I needed something that kind of really swirled around. So I took a little extra time here. Um, and I only really needed to make the outline look realistic. I didn't have to make it so that uh, all the different pieces could fill in because I was going to trace it the whole time. So I was going to make it so that uh, the outlines are clean. And then when it was all done, I traced it and squeezed it. And then I just had to marry these uh, pieces up to it. And then I could create an EPS out of those. And then those are ready to import. Now I started painting the skull. Um, you bring that into Photoshop, kind of do a paint uh, light to dark. Uh, start with an off-white and then you're kind of slowly uh, darkening it up and then you do the deep shadows kind of do the eye sockets and everything else helps if you've painted uh, obviously painted some shadowing in the past so you don't have to reference something constantly but uh, you can also do things in layers which comes in really useful um, if you do your your shadowing in a layer in case something doesn't match with something else um, the kind of the bandana thing at the top um, I just kind of freehand drew done some stuff like that in the past so it, uh, it came out okay um, sometimes if you have a reference for that or sometimes if you take a photo of it you can capture it in put some eyes in here um, just and then pop the, the words in the back you might have saw real quick I was thinking about doing a ship wheel but I did uh, drop that out and I had to make my own arrowheads because I could find good ones so I just kind of made those out of the stone put bevel on them in Photoshop and then uh, kind of wanted them in place of crossbones behind the skull and then the, um, just kind of had to place them behind and I was trying to think of a solution for the backdrop um, and as you can see here we just kind of ended up uh, ended up dropping in a couple of tribals at the end that uh, just kind of wrapped the thing around and then I just had to go and once it was kind of all formulated just kind of get ready and uh, then you can separate the design